Hi, this is your first lab assignment, purely HTML. In this assignment, you'll do three HTML pages. Almost all the text and the images are provided to you. The first page is the index page. A lot of text in it. Luckily, all the text is almost provided. This is index.txt. is already given to you. The main task in this page is to organize your text in a semantic element or components. You have a navigation section here. You, then you can organize, I recommend that you organize your document in one article starting from buying a laptop until before the footer. This is one uh, article. You can have another navigation inside the article. This navigation internally inside the page. Since this page is long, I need the user to be able to go back and forth between top and any other part. See, you can still go top to your document. It's up to you how many top links you provide. It depends on the length of the document. For example, I did three here, but you still can do three or four. If you want to add one, after uh, all sections, it's up to you. One more thing, you have a table. This table has a caption, headers, and footer, and uh, that's it. From any page, you should be able to navigate to the two other pages. For example, I can go to operating system or go back home. Or I can go to payment, or, and from payment, I still can go to operating system or home. Make sure you organize these links in the navigation section. Let's go to the second page, operating system. Another simple page, all the text is provided. Images are available in the images subfolder. Navigation part here first, then you have one article. I recommend that you, you organize the remaining three parts in three sections inside the article. Each section has already a title and one paragraph and then a figure. This is not a simple image link. It's a figure with a caption. Make sure you start using figures instead of images so that you can produce professional documents. Again, it's up to you if you want to organize the title in H1 or H2 or H3. It depends on your uh, style. The paragraphs, one paragraph in each section, one picture with one caption. No footer in this one and no internal uh, navigation. I'll go back home or I can still go to the payment. Payment has a normal form, long form, but not that difficult. Whenever you see star, it's required. First name, last name, street address, all are simple ones. City. I need you to provide eight Qatar cities for the user, but he still can type his own data. All Qatar cities are available to you in a file called Qatar cities, eight cities, according to Qatar Postal Office. Area code, it can be only something between one and 99. It cannot be more than that. And the maximum number of digits to enter here should only be what? Two. You are not allowed to enter more than two, and they all should be digits. Minimum is one, and maximum is 99. If you want to learn more about these patterns and regular expressions, go to the form validation examples in your HTML forms, ex uh, HTML examples in Blackboard. Phone number again, we want this format. Any other format will be wrong. Four digits, dash, then an another four digits. Again, you can refer to the form validation example in the uh, class. Computer configuration. First one is processor speed. Look at this one here. We have two groups of options, not only a list of options. So two groups, how to organize your options in group. There is one HTML tag called option group. Make sure for all your drop-down lists, no, oh, no uh, default uh, value is selected. This is more professional. So now I can select anyone. Memory GB, the default value is 4. You can go down to 1 or 216. You can only 
uh, increment one at a time. You cannot use more than 16. Monitor size, you have these sizes. You can use return a monitor as a checkbox. Hard drive, again, no valid option is selected. Then you have four or five options as you see here. The next three options are all radios. Make sure the default selection is no. You can select yes if you want, but make sure the default selection is no. Then you have another checkbox and comments or text area. This is optional. Credit card payment. All the four pictures are available to you. They are of one radio group. You make sure you can select only one. No text, only the image is needed. Credit card number. There is a validation, complex validation pattern. I'll provide it for the students to make patterns for credit card numbers. Expiration date and uh, year. Uh, we don't want to use the normal date input. Let us create 11, or sorry, 12 months and four years or five years. The years, as you see, from 2020 to 24. CSV, again, the validation number, can only be up to three digits. It cannot be more. It should not be less. So only three digits allowed, not more, not less. For Qatar area code, one to two digits, the values can be from one to uh, 99. Then you have two buttons, either cancel order or place order. At any time, you can go home. You can go to operating system, payment, so you can navigate between all the pages of the uh, project. Good luck.